Okay, I've just started the engine and I'm going to monitor the bank 1 and bank 2 voltages as the engine warms up. I just started it so the temperature cooling is 106 so it's still cool. Bank 1 voltage is 0.28. Um, I'm sorry, uh, bank 1 sensor 2 is 0.28. This one I think is working. At least it seemed to be working the last time I looked at this. This is bank 1 sensor one this is the for this is the upstream this is the downstream all right this one here i don't think is working correctly both of these sensors are brand new by the way these are trq brand sensors they're both brand new but something is wacky i keep getting a p2a00 error and that should indicate the upstream uh, bank one sensor one o2 sensor is not working correctly so what we should see, if this follows true with what I've seen before, we start off at 0.28 volts on sensor 2, and we start at 0.3-ish on sensor 1. And as the engine warms up to temperature, this one will rise up to like 0.6 or 0.7 volts, gradually increasing, which seems correct to me. This one does not do shit. This one just kind of stays at 0.3. It might dip down and stuff uh, while you're driving, but it doesn't make any sense. So this one I do not think is working to spec. So we're going to sit here and watch this a while. Um, I guess I can pause this so that the video doesn't get too long from time to time and come back. But right now the temperature is at 127, so let me pause and come back. Um, I'll come back every 20, 10 to 20 degrees. Okay, so the engine temperature is now up to 145, so I guess that's about 15, 20 degrees hotter. Um, bank sensor 2 has started to move. It's at 0.29. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, bank one is still 0.3 all right so like I said before I'm expecting both of these to go up as the engine heats up now I read online that these uh, sensors don't actually turn on until it gets to a certain temperature um, I don't know if that means the computer doesn't start doing anything with the data until then or what but um, if, the, if, if it ignores these voltages and these are, are phantom vo voltages, then maybe this makes sense that uh, these don't move. But, all right, so let me let it heat up some more and I'll be back. All right, temperature's up to 160 now, um, engine coolant temperature. Uh, bank 1 sensor 2 is unchanged from previous, 0.29. Bank 1 sensor 1 unchanged, still floating around 0.3. Um, don't know what to expect. Uh, that's why I'm recording this. And um, I'm, I've ordered some Dentsu brand sensors, which are the original OEM sensors for uh, Nissan cars. Uh, okay, look, so sensor 2 just went up to 0.3 now. So that's good, I guess. Um, but anyway, so uh, yeah, I've got some Dentsu sensors on order. They cost a lot more than the TRQ ones that I bought, and the TRQ ones have a lifetime warranty. I'd put them out of business at this point because I don't think any of them are any good. Uh, but that's what this test is to figure out and also to document um, what the TRQ sensors are reporting, the brand new ones, mind you, uh, versus the Dentsu ones when they come in. Uh, the front one, uh, the upstream uh, oxygen sensor is supposed to come today, but the backstream isn't going to come till um, another week from now, I think. So I could go ahead and slap in the front one today and continue, but I may wait. I don't know. I'll just have to figure it out. Um, if the sensor one continues to go up to 0.6 or 0.7 volts, then I will conclude that it's probably okay. The sensor two, um, the downstream sensor. All right, I'll be back. All right, so engine temperature is now at 178, and it's kind of stuck there for now. Um, voltage on oxygen sensor two, the downstream sensor, has not changed till at 0.3. Uh, sensor one is still the same as if the engine is cold. It's still bouncing between 0.295 and 0.3 volts. Um, I expect the engine temperature to continue rising here eventually. Um, I guess it, it, lay, it stabled off or it leveled off because the thermostat probably opened. Um, but the temperature of the engine does get higher than this. If I recall, I think it gets up to close to 200. Um, so I'll just keep watching it, but that's, the, that's where we're at 178. Hopefully it goes up some more and we'll get some different numbers. Now, it does bother me this hasn't changed. I wonder if that sensor's already gone bad. I don't know. All right, so um, I'm sitting here just idling. Um, that's what we've done so far. Let's try revving. Oh, sensor 2 just went up to 0.31. And the temperature, engine temperature is now rising again. So I guess uh, 
we got past the bump there of the thermostat opening all the way. So if I rev the engine, what happens to the numbers? Okay, sensor one. So it went up to 0.7. Why? Why would it go up so high? It drops. It's dropping down to 0 .6, 0 0.265. Okay, sensor two is on the rise. It's to 0 0.32. But sensor one is really moving around when I when I when I hit the accelerator. Okay, 0 0.8. Really? Why? Is that correct? Is the problem sensor two? Is the problem sensor one? I don't know. I, I don't know how this stuff works. That's what we're doing here. We're trying to figure out how it works. These are the bad sensors, and I'll do the same type of thing when I get the good sensors. I want to know what to expect. Now, when I look at my son's 97 Altima, um, the numbers increase when you rev. It doesn't decrease. Like, if I'm increasing this with sensor... What sensor one? I'm increasing. It's going to drop down. See that? Why is it dropping? It doesn't do that on the older car. All right, sensor one, or sensor two, I'm sorry, downstream sensor. The first one on the list. It's continuing to rise, so that's what, I'm, what, I, was what I would expect. Sensor one, still just kind of bouncing around there. All right, I'm going to let it keep going. All right, just um, recording here to get another data point. Temperature's up to 187 now. Uh, bank one is bouncing around between 0.35 and 0.36. Um, oxygen sensor one is still doing the same thing as like it was cold. All right, so here we are. This is still with the car just parked here. Bank one sensor two is now at 0.3 and will occasionally jump up to point, um, I'm sorry, 0.36 and will eventually jump up to 0.37. Bank one is still down but 0.295 and 0.3. Ambit uh, engine temperature, coolant temperature is 196 degrees. I think at this point I may go ahead and drive around the block and see if I can't get it to warm up a little bit quicker and then we'll come back and look at the numbers to see how, how, they, um, how they increased. I still expect this sensor 2 to go up higher than that. Um, short term percentages right now is 7% which isn't too bad. The 0.0% .0 in the long term that's because I reset that value uh, in the ECU. So yeah let me drive around and I'll be back. Okay, so I drove around the block a few times, put about two miles on it. Uh, temperature of the engine is still in the, around the 190 range, but look at the O2 uh, bank uh, sensor to downstream sensor is at 0.75 now. Um, maybe that's correct. I, it feels correct, but look at o, uh, this um, front sensor still hovering about 0 0.29, 0 0.28. That one doesn't make sense to me. I would expect that number to go up with temperature. That one is making sense, but look how it's fluctuating. That doesn't make too much sense. Uh, Short-term percentage is 13%. 10% floating around between 10 and 13%, I guess. Um, so, yeah. So, I just wanted to document how the TRQ sensors, front and back, downstream, upstream, whatever, how those sensors react with just warming up from an idle and, uh, and then a short drive. So now I will wait until I get the original uh, uh, well, I'm not they're not Nissan brand. Um, ah crap, I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, the Nissan original equipment sensors. I said it earlier and I can't remember the name. That's terrible. I guess I'm getting old. Anyway, so I will compare that with the OEM basic, uh, the original equipment sensors, and, and we'll see if we can figure out which sensor or sensors, if they're both bad, uh, which ones are giving me these error codes. I'm fixing to do some checks to see if, I, if I've even thrown an error code yet. It doesn't take long. Okay, so I have not thrown an error code yet. I guess I haven't driven it enough. Uh, but I promise you, with that um, percentage on the short-term fuel trims being above 10, it will throw the error. Uh, let's go back to uh, let's go back to live data. All right. See how we're looking before I shut this off. Okay, engine temperature is close to 200. Sensor two, downstream sensor is 0.68 to 0.74. Sensor 1, upstream sensor, 0 0.275, 0 0.285, occasionally 0.3. Still, I don't know which ones are right and which ones are wrong. Hopefully, at the end of this, we'll know 
you know what to do all right well that's it for this video i just wanted to document this so that i can compare results for when i get the other sensors in thanks